hello guys welcome to another video today we are going to make a simple animated css button as you can see it here so when we will hover the button there will be some nice animation as you can see it so in this short video we will make this button and also you can use this button to create many kind of illusion so like that it's looking much better i think so let's create this button so if you are new to my channel please do subscribe it will support me a lot to make this kind of video that will help you so no more talk let's dive into the video So as you can see that here is my HTML file and here is my CSS file. So let's create a boilerplate and let's give it a title of CSS button and also here let's take a div with a class of container and in this div let's create an anchor tag and let's give it a span and here we will write our text which will be click me and that's all for our HTML so also let's link the style sheet and style dot CSS and let's open it with live server So here is our button which is click me. So let's go to the HTML. Sorry, let's go to the CSS. And here, first of all, let's reset the default style and remove all the padding and margin. And you can see there is no more default gap and let's add a font from Google's so let's go to the Google fonts fonts.google.com and here you can find some Google fonts so I use Montserrat here it is so let's add it and go to the import and copy this one paste it in the top of our style.css file so let's apply it in the html so let's say font family will be Montserrat and let's give it also a fallback font family which will be sans serif and let's give it font size of about 25 pixel so after that let's go to the container and here let's give it a height of 100 vh and width of about 100 percent so i think that is a typo container okay so after that let's give it some display flex because we want our content in the middle so display flex so align items will be center and justify content also justify content will be also center so as you can see our content now in center after that let's go to the button and style it which is our anchor tag so container and here let's give it some border so that we can see it so border let's give it three pixel solid and for now let's give it black and here it is so let's remove the text decoration you can see that there is an underline so let's say text uh, text decoration will be none and 
also let's give it some padding of 40 pixel and 100 pixel for the left and right here as you can see i think we should increase the font size so let's say font size about 35 pixel yeah that's right so also text transform will be uppercase and let's say color will be let's so let me copy the color paste it here so as you can see that here it is so if you want you can use letter spacing so let me give three pixel of letter spacing so you can see it here so it's looking nice so that's it for the button so let's go to the animation part which we will have so the idea is we will create four sort of element in this button so let's add those four sort of elements so let's go to the container and come to the anchor tag and let's create first one which will be the before and after that let's go to the container and create another one which will be the after so after that what we need to do we need to create another new elements so for that what you what we can use is we can use a span so a span dot after sorry before and let's give it another colon here and let's go to the container and a uh, and a span and after so that's our four sort elements is here so let's say content will be nothing sorry and the height will be about 100 percent and the width so before width let's give it some background so that we can see the sort elements so let's say the background will be red for now so let's give it some width so if i give width 40 pixel okay so the problem is we need to use the position so for the children we what we need to do is we need to position absolute absolute and for the parent which is the anchor tag the position will be relative so if i save now you can see those elements here so those are the sort elements so as you can see we can see the two of them so what i need to do what i actually want to show you is the width so what i need to do is we need to divide the full width into the four part so what i can actually is we can use the calc function of css in this calc function what i can do is 100 percent sorry 100 percent divided by 4 so now it will cover all the thing we need to so we do not need to worry about anything so that's it so after that what we need to do we need to position them so let's position them so let's say first of all container and got tag before so for this one so let's say left will be about 0 pixel and top will be also 0 we don't need to add the pixel actually now you can see that that's our the before of our anchor tag so let's go to the next one which is the before of our s pen tag so let's come here and say container and anchor tag span and before and here what you need to do we need to same top zero but this time so what you need to do is we need to left about 25 percent so it will be in the after this anchor tag before 
so let's go to the container and anchor tag span after and what we need to do as usual top zero and left will be about after this before so what you can do is we can use 50 percent which will be this one and in the end we will use the container anchor tag after and it will be top and let's say top zero and left will be after this one which is you can see the 50 percent and after this one so it will be 75 percent so you can see that that's working fine so let's set the top uh, now let's set the top and bottom things so now let's remove some height so let's say 80 percent so here you can see that now the height is 80 percent the reason because i set the height 80 percent is to set the top and bottom things so let's come to the container before and for the first one means container anchor tag before for the first one we want to set it in the top and for the second one we need to set it in the bottom so what i can do is say bottom will be zero now you can see that second one is now in bottom so let's do it for the third one third one is the top and fourth one will be then the bottom so by save now you can see that so now let's come to the animation part how can we animate thing so if i make the height zero now you can see that we can't see those sort of elements so if i increase the size let's say 10 percent now you can see the sort of elements is uh, starting to show them so if i 50 percent it will be like that if i if i increase and make 100 percent it will be cover all the things so that's how we will animate the sort of elements so let's come here and animate them so let's create the hover statement so container and when we will hover the anchor tag what we need to do we need to animate the before and also the after and also the span after and span before and what we need to animate is only the height so height will be 100 percent so if i save and hover you can see that it's doing its job so let's also make some transition so let's say come here and say transition will be about 0.5 second is in out for the height so it will be there so now if i hover now you can see the transition here this is smooth things so the problem is now you can see that the content which is the click me text we can't see it because of this thing is happening we did not set the z index yet so what we can do is we can come to the span sorry we can come to the sort elements and set the z index will be minus one and the anchor tag which is there the Z index of this anchor tag will be one so it will solve the problem as you can see so let's change the color of our background so let's give it so let me copy actually the color so if i save now you can see that this smooth transition so that's how you can make it you can use border radius to this button so here let's give it some border radius about say 15 percent sorry 15 pixel now you can see that but the problem is now you can see some overflow here they are in four corners basically so how can we solve them so let's 
what you can do is overflow will be hidden in the anchor tag so if we set overflow hidden it will fix the problem as you can see i think without border areas it's looking nice so i will comment it out so now you can see that it's looking fine so you can use many kind of illusion with this thing so let me show you what i mean so if i set the container color with the same color of our span means sort elements so what i can actually container background color will be about this one so you can see that so for that what i need to do we need to set a background color of our anchor tag of so let's come here and say background color will be about white if i save now you can see it so now we have a background color so we don't need the border actually so comment it out so if i hover now you can see this illusion which is looking nice for me so that's it how you can create this nice button so also let's add some style i think it will look better so also what i can do is in container element sorry container anchor tag and when i will hover that i will add a background sorry border 3 pixel solid white so now you can see that actually we don't need to do it here what i need, can do is we can just change the background color sorry border color from where is it yeah from there so if i give it white now it will look much better i think so let me know which one is better styled so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel if you want more website related css related javascript related video and i am thinking to make some wordpress development video so let me know what you think about those video if you want to see those video and i will see you in the next video Till then, bye-bye. Kuda Hafiz.